Well, here we are again with Fab Photos via Facebook. It's nice to be with you again and looking at this photo from Janet, posted recently. And uh, what a beautiful collection of colours, very autumnal. But if one looks at the church, these buildings in the middle, uh, my sensation is that it's a little over overexposed. So if we go direct from basic fixes to effects, and forgive me for going random through these Picasso tutorials, I just hope that you can download it easily from www.picasso.com and experiment yourself, really, it will immediately find all your photographs and you can um, experiment with the basic fixes, the tuning and the effects, particularly for skies and overexposed areas, this particular effect called graduated tint is very useful. So you see immediately we have a hairline cross that we can uh, draw over the area that we want to be darkened a little bit. Can you see that immediately um, the area that was apparently overexposed begins to get more contrast and a bit darker, uh, more combining with this nice foreground here. Now with this feather we can uh, increase a little bit and perhaps a little more shade. I do say always don't exaggerate with these filters as they would be called. Um, that would probably be the limit of what we want to alter, what we want to edit this photo. So we can apply it and there already we have a considerably enhanced photograph I would believe. So perhaps we could sharpen a little bit to increase the contrast. There can you see that the building, uh, the church itself has become more contrasted and there's a greater sharpness. So we can apply that again. And then we can either file save as or we can export. If you want to change the size, if the original size is uh, say a large file from your digital camera, then you might want to um, export it to a different size. You can immediately blog it if you have a blog and you can upload it if you have a Picasso web album. All these opportunities, I just recommend that you experiment and try different settings, different effects, different tuning and the different basic fixes. But really this graduated tint is a very useful one for bringing down the overexposure in some of the photos that we tend to take because the camera will only guess at the light. It is not as intelligent as our eyes which can make out the brightness and the shade. The camera will only try to guess at the different brightness and the different shade. So a very brief tutorial this time with Fab Photos via Facebook. I hope you've enjoyed this. Enjoy posting your photos please to Fab Photos via Facebook and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.